Hello everyone, welcome back with Friday with Anthony. In today's an informative episode, we're going to talk about the future laws that's gonna happen next year, you guys. New laws for every carrier, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, if there's still Postmates here in New York City, DoorDash, all these delivery apps, food apps that are using by third party restaurants are going to be a lot of new changes. And these are the changes that we're gonna talk about in this video. Anyways, if you guys made it this far with the video, please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or concern, share that in the comment section. So Rikin, what are we going to do with these new laws here in New so York City? So first and foremost, if you missed our live stream, we, we covered this big thing that was going to happen, right, on December 16th. It's a new proposal that's supposed to come into play where us delivery riders, only in New York City, so sorry about, you know, people outside of, the, of the, um, New York, we're going to get a minimum wage of $23.82 an hour. That's the proposal, right? So... As the proposal, it doesn't mean that we're mm -hmm. getting it. It it just means that is the proposal. They were first asking thirty dollars an hour. You were seeing a lot of protests they happening by the deliveristas. Shout out to the deliveristas deliverista for Which making this all happen supposedly. But they, I, I get that. You know, they started big, so you know they could get a a, a decent minimum wage because you don't want to start start off start off straight out the bat for fifteen dollars an hour. You know, you want to come in high and strong. Boom, hit them with the yep. thirty and got it below at. $24 an hour. That's the proposal. Basically, so to just uh, kind of summarize this, um, the Mayor Adams has uh, heard our complaints and concerns and this twenty three and this twenty three eighty two an hour is going to be broken down as 1986 as a base rate per hour, then 226 to cover workers expenses and then another $1.70 for like workers comp, right? So this is just an extended conversation from what we did in our, on our previous live stream. Um, the article, like we said, is in, lit, is in the link in the description. We're just going to put our thoughts into this just in case you guys missed it. I think this is going to be a game changer. I don't know if it's going to be a negative wave, a positive wave, but it's definitely going to be a game changer facing the gig economy. Um, it's right, right off the bat, you know, like... Right now, we are facing, you just sign in your app whenever you want to. For, um, speaking out of Uber Eats experience, you sign in whenever you want to, and you close, you, you end whenever you want to. At the same time, you do have like the authority to cancel any order that presents to you. So I don't know if they're gonna take out that authority. My, uh, my opinion, my prediction is that they're gonna take out that authorities for us to like, that power to like, um, decline orders. I think they gotta eliminate that for us. I think you gotta have no options but to do these orders. For example, DoorDash, they, you sign up for a schedule. Doesn't mean that you gotta have to do that schedule, but that's, those are the time that you gotta mm -hmm. sign up, you know? So I think you can't decline no more orders no more. If you decline even, probably they'll, they'll be nice and give you like, like a minimum. You only could decline two orders out of your shift and that's it. But yeah, you gotta have a dedicated shift because again, you gotta they gotta pay you hourly, and also um, the ability for you to right. decline orders. That's so, true. it's really up in the air right now. But I think um, it's either you pick is either you pick your poison at this time. I you agree, know? especially because now this is like a W two, right? Remember, a base pay is we're this is almost treating us like a W two, right? but we're still at 1099. So like the biggest question that we still have that makes it hard to do a prediction or whatever is, are we still 1099 or are we a W-2? Because this is starting to sound like a W-2, but we're still under contract as a 1099. What I was concerned too is the base pay. This is my concern is the base pay itself. Um, not the base pay for what you see in the article, but the base pay of what we get per delivery. So if you guys know when you do deliveries, especially with Uber Eats, you get a base pay and then a tip, right? So you always have a base pay. Now, if we're getting an hourly base pay from Uber Eats already, does that mean that we lose our base pay from the delivery itself? In my opinion, you guys, that will suck because there are base pay that like for just like one mile, you'll get like a $15 order for one mile or less. It, 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 it works both ways. So it's like, it works both yeah. ways, yeah. Like for example, like in dinner rush or lunch rush, you do get those popping orders that are like fifteen dollars for one mile. But then you got you know other orders that like let's suppose you want to sign go sign in and Uber Eats at three p.m. You're not gonna make any money because 
dinner rush and lunch rush. I mean, dinner rush hasn't even started, and lunch rush has is already passed right. you by. So and that will work in your favor. Getting paid hourly, all right, slow. You're still getting you a pay. you're still getting a pay. So like, it doesn't matter what time yeah, you're still getting do, a pay. which is a great thing. But also, you have a potential to make more money if you knew how to do the rushes and have your route. So it's like kind of like it almost kind of throws it away like nothing really matters so yeah you get more security but for the people who knew how to make a lot of money from this you may not make a lot of money from this like you did before pick and choose whenever you want to or you got like a you got like two hours mm -hmm. to kill pop in the uber app sign in you might not have those Very options true. no more and what is also like concerning about it is the consumers they're the ones that got to pay um these um these huge increase uh, for example, restaurants, their Uber fees might increase their, you know, like what they need to pay to Uber, DoorDash, the convenience fee. Those convenience fees are going to skyrocket. These restaurants are going to get hit like no other. And it's a shame that's happening, you know, but it is what it is at this point. You know, there has to be some sort of law going in because there's a lot of people getting killed doing this type mm -hmm. of work. Um, and then if we're talking about higher pay i'm concerned that maybe less tips because what if they charge the consumer more right and now the consumer is like oh well this is so much of a high fee for an order private owned businesses mom and pop shops here in new york city they're gonna get hit mm -hmm. so hard mcdonald's wendy's you know corporate fast food restaurants they night they don't even care man i don't know what's gonna happen you guys but i just wish that people could wear helmets could ride safe because if people didn't ride safe and like start getting to accident or, or like start getting killed we wouldn't have these crazy changes or if like we were just you know, like representing you know better saying, you, you know like a lot of this wouldn't be a problem yeah. if we were represented better um the, exactly. the last the last exactly. thing that i want to touch on which is it's like we got our predictions out the way um let us know if you have any uh, predictions yourself in the comments below so Rican, so far what we have the changes are you know i think my experience are positive changes so far in our in our experience uh first and foremost now we could finally see the tip beforehand and we also could decide how far we want to go for example we only want to stay in a two mile mm -hmm. radius you could choose that option that's a good option like recently doing uber eats it has gotten a little bit more organized i could see my tips i could see how far i'm going and right there it gives me the final decision should i take this order or should i decline this order you know that's a good positive change so far from my experience good good changes positive changes let's see if it holds up in january let's see. the last thing i want to go through is the fact is um it's not like 2382 is going to actually happen now that was just based off of an, an inflation prediction so that's on april 1st 2025 the start that we're actually gonna get is, as I scroll down, is actually going to be $17.87 an hour. So if this proposal goes through, do not believe the title, it's kind of clickbait until 2025. If this proposal goes through, it's $17.87. Now, that, oh my that goodness. changes the tone, right? That's about, wait, that's $5 yeah. difference. So now it's almost like, what we thought was positive could be more of a negative now it's like oh man i could have made more money without this shit in the first place mm. right right and it also 2025 man that's like well like two or three years from now yeah. inflation might increase it's gonna increase no matter what because inflation always goes up but, but damn <laughs> it's a long time coming though <laughs> for real right like it's it's almost like a slap in the face but i mean it's a baby steps it's progress it, the only thing that we could do now is just wait. And if you guys want to have your voices heard, Friday, December 16, 2022 is the chance. You go to that you go to mm -hmm. that link right there, rules.cityofnewyork. You could submit your thoughts and that's a public hearing. What they do, they hear you guys out. That's really it for the predictions, honestly. Um, we just, this is an extended conversation. You can catch the rest of this on the live stream. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching us. Thank you, Anthony, for setting this up also so we can have this extended conversation. You know, um, this is, I can't, I don't know, man. It's, it's exciting. It makes me nervous. We're just going to wait. <laughs>
All right, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. We do have a Patreon and we do have a YouTube members only in the description if you do want to donate to our channel. It helps provide more quality content for you guys. Um, the best way to support, though, is obviously just to like, share the channel with your friends, you know, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Anyways, you guys, ride safe out there. You know, these streets are crazy. Until the next one with Riding With Anthony. See ya.